I'm out here on the Coast Guard Cutter Spar as they get ready to break ice ahead of this year's shipping season. But also in a joint venture between NOAA and the Coast Guard, they're collecting really important data while doing it. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is working on ways to detect and map oil and slicks following an oil spill in an morning icy morning environment. Morning. They've been flying drones in order to differentiate between ice, oil, and water in a natural, oilless environment. This week, NOAA has been collecting high-resolution video and temperature data from the drone-mounted sensors that can help us see water and ice and possibly oil in the case of an oil spill. What we're doing is developing tools and techniques to help us better respond to oil spills in ice environment. So the better we can get at collecting data and being able to map where ice, oil, and water are and get that into the hands of our partners at the Coast Guard, the faster and more efficient those oil spill responses are going to be. NOAA is tasked with developing protocols for how to respond to a worst case scenario, like if an oil spill were to occur in the Great Lakes or any icy environment. Using the data collected on this week's ice breaking mission, NOAA will develop a protocol and the Coast Guard will integrate them into day to day operations. That way, they have a roadmap for how to respond if an incident like that were to ever happen in the Twin Ports. In the middle of the Duluth Superior Harbor, Peter Kevakowskis, Northern News Now.